National Parks Traveler. Postcards from the Parks. Greetings from Cumberland Gap National Historical Park and the heart of the Southern Appalachian Mountains. My traveling companion Ginny Vining and I are heading up the trail toward the Pinnacle Overlook. At 2,400 feet, we'll get a view of the Gap and three states, Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. We access the trailhead after driving along a winding four-mile mountain road from the park's visitor center. I think it's interesting that there's four cars in the parking lot, including ours. I, I think it's astounding. And a, a small minibus. It must be off the beaten track. It's about four o'clock? Yeah. Beautiful day. It's hard to believe there aren't more cars, but the quiet is also welcome, you know? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Our water sloshing in our water bottles. <laughs> keeps rhythm to our walking. <laughs> yeah, it's stunning. Crossing the Appalachian Mountains was tough going for early settlers. There were very few easy crossing points through its parallel ridges between Alabama and Canada. Starting to see the first glimpse of the overlook at Pinnacle. Oh look, crossing from Kentucky into Virginia. <laughs> a, I love that. It's just a asphalt foot trail going up to the pinnacle and there's a line across the path that shows that we are leaving Kentucky into Virginia. It's all right, hop <laughs> over. Who would have known had we Drum not roll. stepped over it? Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Virginia now, a fine state. A vast natural gap was already well trodden by bison, elk, deer, and Native Americans. But it was Dr. Thomas Walker in the mid-1700s who put the gap on the map, so to speak. He and his companions explored the gap and documented the route, which hunters and trappers immediately started using. Wow. Coming up on the view. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. You can see for miles. 25 years later, Daniel Boone and his team blazed the wilderness trail through the gap, opening up the Ohio Valley to the first great wave of westward migration. We are at Pinnacle Point and the view is amazing. Just as far as the eye can see, just mountain, row upon row of rolling mountaintops. And then of course the gap. It's just a blanket of green. Are just absolutely stunning. A little bit of haze. You can hear some traffic noise from the highway up here, but you can hear the wind going through the trees, the birds. There's only four other people up here with us uh, at the lookout point. So where's, aren't we supposed to be able to see Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Ginny and I spent a day at Cumberland Gap National Historical Park not nearly enough time to explore the park's 24,000 acres and 85 miles of hiking trails, including a 21 mile long ridge trail. But we did have time for another hike, the Tri-State Peak Trail. It's a moderate incline to the exact point where Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia intersect. The Gap's impact on the western expansion of the United States is significant. Just think, some 300,000 settlers over a 35-year period crossed through the Gap searching for better lives in the West. And it's where Lewis and Clark passed through separately on their return trips back East. If you look and listen closely, smaller things here will likely impress you too. A male hooded warbler with his bright yellow mask and black cap and throat flitting through the branches above our heads as he calls out to his mate. And several delicate little creatures buzzing in and out of milkweed blossoms, dipping for nectar. Named after the bird they so resemble, these are actually insects called hummingbird hawk moths. They're considered by some to be a symbol of personal transformation and a sign of good luck. 
something that westward travelers were surely hoping for as they passed through the Cumberland Gap. With this postcard from the park, I'm Lynn Riddick for The Traveler. National Parks Traveler is a 501c3 nonprofit media organization providing daily editorial coverage of national parks and protected areas. Traveler's coverage is made possible by reader and listener donations. Visit us at nationalparkstraveler.org.